Hello, Quad Flying Fun here. And as promised, um, I said when I got my uh, Yizon, let me back up here so everybody can see it, my uh, Yizon Tarantula X6, I'd go over my transmitter and just demonstrate the uh, basic functions of this. I really didn't do that in the review, so we're going to do it now. Um, I have to tell you, I've had so much fun flying this thing, it just... Um, I really didn't want to get into that because when you take this thing up for a flight, I mean the flight lasts for anywhere from 11, 9 to 11 minutes and um, you don't really have time to go over all that stuff, so we're going to do it right now. Now this transmitter is basically like um, most other transmitters in the fact, I mean, you know, this is your throttle button here, yaw button, pitch right, pitch left, pitch forward, pitch back. Um, you've got camera function here, like if you had a camera on there, you hit this button, it would take a picture. You can see your record button here for like a camcorder that, that come with these. You hit that button and it'll tell the um, camera to record or the DVR to record. Um, that's nothing special there. Um, and this button here, let's see, I've got the, the quad is on. This is the uh, light button here. We'll hit that. Yep, that works. You can see the lights turn on and off on the quad. So, um, now this does have what they call Hyper IOC, which uh, I guess I would call that uh, poor man's return to home. And what it does, it, this has a magnetic compass in it, and say, now I already turned it on, and I had it setting due east, and I pointed the transmitter due east like this, okay? So like if you fly, and you say you lose orientation, and you're off to the right here, and you point your transmitter in that direction, okay, like this, and you pull back 180 degrees away from where the quad is in the sky. Say it's over here, you pull this direction, and the quad will basically come right back to you. And then kind of hover right over your head. So what we're going to do now, we're going to try that. So let's go. I've got it in intermediate rates. You can see we're in 60% here. I don't think I need to set it on high right now. Have absolutely no wind out here. Um, we're kind of in between. You can see the sky doesn't look too good. We're kind of in between thunderstorms here. So I thought I'd get out here and uh, get this done real quick. So let's uh, let's fly. Let's let's try this out. So let's fly out here. We're gonna fly over here, just the edge of my where I mow here. So we'll just put the quad in a hover. Let's just move him over a little bit to the right there. Okay. Now let's hit the button. Okay, we're in hyper IRC mode. Now let's pull back 180 degrees. Well, that didn't work. Now well, we're going forward. Let's see if it holds and comes back to me. Nope. Well, I think I got to uh, turn the quad on here. Let's shut that off because it's basically backwards. <laughs> okay, let's get the quad over here and let's try that again. It basically just did opposite what I thought it would do there. So let's land here. See if I can get this on my little board here. Set her down here. And okay, got him down. So let's try this. I set this up in the house and I had it uh, turned on in there. It might have messed it up when I did it because I had the quad. I think it's because I had the quad upside down when I plugged the battery in. So let's try this. Let me unplug it. Turn the transmitter off. Let's unplug the battery. And what we'll do this time, I'll, uh, I always turn it upside down when I plug the battery in because it's so much easier to get the battery in it. This is why like I said in my initial review, the only thing I don't like on this quad is it doesn't have an on-off button and it really needs one. And I've got plenty of them. I think I'm going to put one on it back here somewhere so I don't have this issue. So let's unplug the quad. Let's flip him over. Get him turned up this way. I don't know how I'm going to do this and get the battery door on it and get everything stuffed in here and because it, uh, it, it sets the things. Sets the uh, gyros so fast, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this or not. So let's plug him in. I know you can't see it, and I apologize. I know I'm out of frame here, but I'm 
kind of hamstrung here trying to do this. This is going to be kind of difficult. So let's get the battery door on here. Okay, now we've got it on. We'll set him down, let the lights steady out. Okay, now we'll, let's try this. So we turn the transmitter on. Okay, we're going to bind the transmitter. Okay, now we're going to go to 60% rates, which is two beeps. Now, We've got the transmitter aligned with the quad, and we're in that direction right there. So basically straight in front of us is going to be our base setting. That should be our base setting. So let's try this again. Let's get the quad in the air. Back up a little bit here so everybody can see everything. So here we go. Get the quad in the air, and just, we'll just go forward. Let's try this. We're on our base setting here. It's a good day to do this because there's almost no wind out here. So we got the quad out there. Okay, let's activate our headless mode. Gonna work this time. Oh, I think it's gonna work this time. Okay. Well, she didn't come back, but okay. Let's fly it over here. Let's go over this direction. Okay, you can see the quad up there. So let's just pull back. It should come back 180 degrees, which it did. So let's fly over here. And let's go this direction. Now let me turn it. Let's see if it works with the quad turn. Now we got something going on here. Because it shouldn't make any difference, should make no difference which way the quad is turned and orientation wise. Because see, she's going forward now. So even if it's yawed this way, when you pull the stick back like that, it should come back. Well, it is. Okay, now she's going forward. That is correct. So it's doing what it's supposed to do. So no matter how the quad's orientated, you can see it. Okay, I'm going to turn it backwards. You pull back on the stick, the quad comes to you. So it's working. And you push forward, quad goes forward. So, right. So let's fly it over here. Say you lose orientation. You're that way, no matter how the quad's orientated, you pull opposite. Say you pull this way on the stick, 180 degrees from where the quad is, and the quad comes to you. So there, she's going forward. And it remembers that base setting that we set here. So it uses that as orientation. That's how it does it. So that works. And you can see we're still in headless mode because the lights on the quad are still flashing. Which that's pretty neat. And what that allows you to do, like say you had a camera on this guy, you could pan with it. You could turn the quad to you with the camera at you. And then you could fly, you know, all the way around. And you can just keep the quad turned at you and fly all the way around. And the quad's going to maintain orientation to where you're at. So that's pretty neat. So let's bring this guy in for a landing here. Let me turn that off. That's, that's one thing about going into headless mode. It's actually kind of annoying. So let's come over here and land the quad. Practice my landings here. Get him over my board here. I don't want to land in the grass because it's rained out here and it's all wet. See how good we can hit our board here. And right on it. So that's your headless mode. Um, I just call this, uh, they say, I mean, it's got a magnetic compass in these. I just say it's a uh, poor man's return to home, which it can be used for that. So that's pretty neat how they, how they did done that and got that to work. And like I said, also, if you're doing any recording with a camera, you've got the camera on the bird, you can pan, you can keep the, the quad facing you, and you could do, do a 360 degree circle all the way around you and keep the camera pointed right at you at all times. So that's a pretty neat feature. Um, I didn't particularly buy this quad for that. I bought it uh, for doing my uh, stunt flying like I like to do. And uh, this guy's real good at doing that, I'll tell you. I've done several videos in the last couple days at night and during the daytime, and uh, this thing really shines, I'll tell you, doing uh, stunt flying. I really like this quad. So, um, just wanted to get this out there and uh, let everybody see that and see how the uh, how that headless mode works. And it is a pretty neat function um, that they've incorporated into these guys. So, um, if you like that, give me a big thumbs up. 
and uh, please subscribe and until the next time see you bye